Hi everyone, welcome back to Jackie's Creative Lifestyle. I'm Jackie Thornton and today I'd like to bring to you the Little Caravan gift box. One of my all-time favourites and I have decided after lots of people asking to put a video together. It's a very, very popular little gift box and um, it can also be a display item. So I have finally put the pattern together and here it is for today. So let's get started and cross on over to my desk. Well, here we are, ready to make this Canuck caravan. Now this caravan has taken a little while to put the pattern together, so that's what's been taking me so long, so I'm sorry about that. And um, this pattern can, can um, be yours just by placing an order on my online store. Any order received in October, I will be sending out a pattern to this, and um, you'll receive it in the post from me. So that's the month of October, all details I'll tell you as we go along. So this is our little caravan that we're going to make. And this particular caravan, um, and all of my caravans, you can adapt it in different ways to take the goodies inside. It has a little window there with a little um, cover over it. And it's just the traditional Kiwi camper van. So let's get started. We all want to start off first of all with our um, pieces that we need. Now I've used the pattern to cut these out. You're going to need two pieces of the cardboard and one of the DSP. Now this DSP is the Tropolis, Tropical Escape from our main catalogue and um, all the details are at the end of this video for you to get numbers and codes for everything you see today. So now I have pre-cut some of the pieces and use some punches to make the wheels and things. And of course, this is another pattern piece that you will find in the pattern that you cut out, and that will go on the caravan, and we'll see that later. I have tried to bring you the real true Kiwi icon caravan, so um, let's go forward and show you how I have done that. We're gonna need a piece of cardboard, all measurements of course are in the pattern. Now this particular card needs scoring, and this is what's going to be holding the whole gift box together. So, excuse my scorer here, it is um, a little dirty at the moment, needs a bit of a clean. Okay, so what we want to do is go in one centimetre and score a line, and then another centimetre on the other side, and score the line there. Right. Now, what we want to do is we want to place a score line right along this and so that we get the curvature of the actual caravan. Now, you're going to have to excuse my head. It does keep popping into screen now and again, and it's this stupid little piece of hair that's sticking up on the top of my head. So what we're doing here is two and a half uh, centimetres. We're going to be scoring right along this piece of cardstock. Um, until we're finished there and it doesn't really matter if you muck up as you can see in this I did a little muck up and I made one of them a bit close together It doesn't matter all we want to do is create a curve and you'll see that it won't matter as we go through Now this is going to be the base of the caravan and we're doing another centimeter in on this So just scoring all the way around this piece of the card and then you just need to get your scissors and do a little bit of clipping. So I'm just going to um, clip the side of this main roof that is going to wrap right round the caravan and um, we just want to take it where we're clipping up to that main long score line. As you can see here, it, um, you just zip along and clip them there. Now I have fast forwarded this for you so you don't have to um, sit and watch me cut this for very long at all. Now you can use any cardstock colours that you want, these are the ones I've chosen and at the end I will show you some different caravans that I've made with other colours and then you basically just do a little flip over and score that piece right along that edge and the reason I do this after I've cut is that it just makes it a whole lot easier when you're doing the clipping, if it's got a fold in it, it just makes it a little bit tricky and then just roll that thumb underneath to give it a bit of a curvature. So there you can see if you did muck up and you didn't put the score lines exactly at the right measurements, it doesn't really matter. We just want to create a nice curve um, through that roof line. Now 
bring in the DSP that you have chosen and you need to adhere that to the one of the pieces of card. So I use my little Tombow glue which is available at my online store and I just jot them all around just to get a nice coverage. Now the reason I am using the glue is that it's really forgiving and you can place it on and then if you have to like I've just done now move it then it's easy to do and get it into, into a line. I just find working with it is so much better when you're making these projects. Now I have cut this piece out of white wisp, wisp, um, sorry, wisp of white cardstock and I'm just going to randomly put some score lines along it and this is just to create some texture because back in the old days um, the caravans would have this piece of metal um, across the base that ran through the base and it was actually like a corrugation, it was sort of had lines in it. So that's why I decided to do that. Once again, we need the liquid Tombow and pop that on because you will need to move that around a little bit too. And then we just need that to dry off. You can see it all starting to come together now. All right, now you just need a little strip. Now there is no set size to this piece of strip. There's my head again. Do not look at my hair too closely, guys. It probably needs a little visit to the hair, so I would say. All right, back to the project. Now we just need to pop on a little bit of glue. Now this strip doesn't need to be any size in particular. You can have it whatever width you like. So um, I haven't done a measurement for this because I've this particular one I've done here is, I think it is half a centimeter. Don't quote me on that. But um, it's just popping that on and that gives us the paint line. Now on these caravans, there used to be a nice um, paint stripe that went across that corrugation. Now this is um, a piece that I have done as a pattern. I cut out the piece of paper pattern, put it on an old piece of cardstock so that I could actually mark the door in. And that marking is on the pattern, that line. So all you do is just get a pencil and mark that line and then just across how wide you'd like your door. So you'll see what I've done here. I'm just going to follow that pencil line and then bring it across the width you would like your door to be. It's not probably two centimetres um, that I've gone. Then rub out those marks um, with a pencil. Now bring in something that's very strong with a nice line to it. Can be a ruler, of course. My closest thing was my, um, uh, God, it's gone out of my head. I'll tell you about it in a minute. It's just a hard piece of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gone completely out of my head. It's my Stamparatus. There it is. It just popped back in. All right, do a nice little crease there for the door and then bring your window in. The sizing of that, of course, is in the pattern. And then we just need a piece of Whisper White cardstock and that is going to be what the window is adhered to. So we're just going to um, measure where the window goes and where the flap will be scored. So we're going to run that score line through the uh, little cover that goes over the window. So the window frame itself and the cover. So just put a little score line there. It's quite a bit of um, free creating when you're making this. It's not uh, in set and concrete what you should and shouldn't be doing with, um, with your pieces. It, you know, you can change things as you go along. You don't have to do them exactly how I am doing them. So we pop the little window in there. Now I've used the um, silver card stock that Stampin' Up! have. Um, it's great for this sort of thing. So, um, and then I've just got a piece of pink card and I have used the punch, the decorative edging punch, and then put a few score lines on it. And this is to create a nice little, um, what would you call it, cover over the window and um, awning. That's the word, awning. Create a nice little awning that's going to pop over the window and, um, and give it some decorative uh, look to it. So there we have it. You're basically sticking a little bit of um, tape and then popping that cover on. And there you have your little window. So we will next, first of all, we are going to now start putting the pieces together to actually make the structure. So you just need um, a piece Oh, sorry, your roll of uh, tear tape. Now the reason I use the tear tape is because it is the strongest um, adhesive that I have ever worked with and I find that when I do these types of projects 
it is the best to hold it together for a long length of time. So just make sure when you go to put your second lot of adhesive on your second piece that it is on, you're putting it on the right side because these aren't exactly the same at each end of the actual caravan piece. One is a quite rounded bit and the other end is a tapered piece. So you do want to be making sure that you're putting your adhesive on the second piece on the inside piece. If you can completely understand that because I think I've confused you but um, hopefully you'll understand. Then you're going to take off that um, covering on the tape and we are going to put the, the actual roof panel on now. Now please excuse me if you do see my head pop into shot because um, I do have to lean over when doing this because I've got to get it just right. So you start off with putting the very beginning of that roof right on the edge and you're basically just going to feed it around, gathering it in and crossing those pieces over until you have gone all the way around the piece. Now I'll just speed it up now so that you don't have to sit and watch me do this. And yeah, just pop your hand in and just move your fingers around. It just helps. It does go together very easily. And, um, and then with the second piece, you're going to take that off. And then you're going to work with this. Now, if anything's going to be tricky, the second piece. You're just going to have to use all your fingers and thumbs. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors to help seal this once we put the floor in. Now, at this point, you can do one of two things. You can permanently adhere the floor in. Or you can temporarily fix it in. Um, I will just, first of all, show you that that has become a little bit long. And that will be because I probably haven't stuck it completely right on the edge all the way around which leaves me with a little overhang and in all of the projects I've done I've had a little overhang different sizes each time and that's not a problem you just trim it off it doesn't take the look away from it at all so there we have it all trimmed up so yes back to the flooring now we're going to fold the scoring around this now I'm going to use tear tape to um, fix this in as a permanent fitting if you want to fill this little gift box with a gift or some candy, you can do so by putting a Velcro around it, or you can um, put your candy in through the door of the caravan and then seal the door. Um, and other times I have actually put a bag of candy in, popped it in the caravan and then put the floor in permanently to the caravan. And so they actually have to pull the floor apart to get the candy out. Um, and so different, there's different ways that you can do to um, preserve it um, or you, you can just let them go for it and rip it to get the, the goodies out that you've put inside. So I'm just running this tear tape all the way around the little wee box there that we've folded in. Once we get that um, tape off, uh, we will then do the tricky bit of putting it actually on the base of the caravan. Now, the um, colours that I've used in the cardstock for this today is all listed at the, end, um, at the end of this video. So stay tuned and you'll see all that um, at the very end if you want to purchase anything to get your free pattern. Now, um, what you do is you just pop, pop it in and when it goes in, you push the sides of the caravan into the base so that it actually sticks together. It just got a little bit caught there, so I just have to re-maneuver it and it just sticked, stuck down so I just have to pull that out. Right, quite easy. Then you need probably a pair of scissors just to push the two pieces of cardboard together to actually make it grab each other and stick well. So it just takes a little bit of time to do that. It doesn't, it's not a big problem at all and um, once you've done one, you can do hundreds. Now, this little piece here, we're going to clip and pull it down, and that's going to be the little step into your caravan. Isn't that cute? So there we have the basic structure of the van, and now we just need to pop on some extras. Now, of course, this van needs some wheels, and I'm going to use the 1 and 3 8 inch um, hole punch, and also the 1 inch. 1 inch, I'm using silver uh, cardstock and black, basic black cardstock and um, these are going to be our wheels. So just pop our little silver ones on there 
and there's the wheels. Now you just probably have to give these a little bit of time to stick and um, I'm going to go ahead now and pop the window on. Now when you're popping the window on I'm going to pop some um, tear tape on this so it doesn't fall off but um, you want to line that top of the window up with the top of your door and then that just makes it all look even. I'm a little bit um, a perfectionist when it comes to things like that so I'm just going to line that window up with the top of the door and you will see that it will um, sit in a nice place and then about the middle of that area there a little rub on and there you have your little pretty window now it's all starting to come together so I'm going to pop the dimensionals onto the actual um, wheels and that's because I just want them to slightly sit off the caravan just to give a little bit of um, movement and te texture to it and um, as you know now I'm about to stick the wheel in the wrong place but soon figure it out and move it into the right place so there we have it there's our wheels now with our wheels it means the front of the caravan tips down so we need a little stand and we need to put this little stand on the front and that's going to sit the caravan flat so all you need is a piece of cardstock all measurements will be in the pattern and you just need to basically make a little square. So you need a nice long rectangle piece and then you're just scoring at an inch. And you'll need to make I think it's five marks that you make. And then you just roll it into a little square. And of course back to that permanent adhesive, our nice tear tape. Worth getting, it just is amazing, and that's available in my online store too. So, um, just pop that on. I've just gone with a contrast color there just to give it a bit of taking that lime off the front of the caravan and popping it underneath. Now, that is the basic structure. I'm now going to do some words, and we're going to make this um, tie into the actual reason for giving, and which is a birthday. Um, I have a friend having a birthday, so we're just going to. Um, make that up. So basically I've pre-stamped this piece and um, I'm just going to pop it on some of the designer series paper that I've used on the caravan and just going to do another layer of the actual pink from this collection of the Tropical Escape 6x6 um, papers that we have at the moment. Absolutely beautiful. Very popular design to the um, that tropical look, leaves and things. And I'm just going to do that with the other piece which says, we think you're the best. And it's basically just doing some little layering really, just to give it, take that colour from the actual caravan up into the greeting that we're going to put on the top of the caravan. So I hope you're um, enjoying watching this video today. I've really enjoyed putting it together. It has, it has taken me a while. And I know I'm going to get some comments from um, some friends and um, customers, of course. But um, it's here and it's finally done. So I'm just going to cut out some pictures here from the designer series paper. Beautiful flowers. It's just a little bit of fussy cutting, not too much. And then um, you need a skewer. Now I need to, um, you can just get a skewer from a kitchenware store, uh, the supermarket have them, and all you need to do is just cut the skewer down a little bit to give it a good length, and, um, and maybe take that sharp spike off that comes with it. So we just needed another flower, now let's pop a little diamante into the middle of our flower, just to give it a bit of bling. Every girl's caravan needs a bit of bling. And there's our skewer. So what we want to do is adhere the pieces onto the skewer. And I'm just going to show you the tidiest way that I came up with for doing this. Figure out where you first want your um, greeting to be and just pop your skewer on the back. Now I'm going to put a piece of tear tape right across the top. Of course I am because I want this to stick forever. And then just push it right in against that skewer. And then you don't have a gap or movement where that skewer can move around. And then you just want to cut a scrap piece of the paper you've been using. This is going to cover and also help it fix that to the skewer. So just measure it up. It really doesn't have to be the exact size. I just want to really cover this tape and give it some more support and strength so that 
it all doesn't just fall off. So there we go, we just pop that over, pushing it into the skewer and then wrapping it tight over so it's really tight and secure. And I'll just carry on now and pop on the happy birthday. And I'm going to put that on at a slight angle just to create a little bit of whimsical look to it. So just pop that tear tape over the top. And look, I've just noticed that my nails match the um, caravan. That was good planning on my part, wasn't it? Actually quite good. It looks quite lovely, doesn't it? Okay, it could get expensive if I start colouring my nails to um, all my projects though. I don't think I'll be doing that in the near future. Alright, so um, we're just popping this on the back here and covering that to give it some extra strength to the other piece. And then we'll just do a little bit of decoration. So there we go. Now we're just going to grab a little bit of baker's twine as well. Um, and that needs to be popped round and just tie a little bow in the centre just to give it some nice texture and, um, and to finish the project off. Don't forget at the end of this you are more than welcome to cross to my um, store that is um, online now and, um, and order your bits and pieces and in turn at the end of October I will be sending out the patterns to all those that have um, purchased through my shop in the month of October. And you'll be getting the lovely pattern that everything comes with it. All right, so trim that little spike off. We don't need the sharp bit. And um, I haven't stuck the little flowers on, but I will do at the end. And we'll just pop that through there and show you what this is going to look like. You pop the little flower there. Uh oh, there's the hair again. And, um, and another little flower there at the bottom. So there we have it, that's what you do with your caravan. Now um, this is the other caravan that I previously made um, with the same designer series paper and this um, other one that I've also made with a different one. And then of course there's the other little caravan that I have made where you can pop a little girl in uh, from DSB. You can put little banners across and um, I'm actually going to stick some little flowers on mine. Now I haven't put the little door handle on. I'll show you what I did to get the little door handle on. Is that I have some little enamel pieces that are sticky and you just basically can pop any little enamel dot that you've got on there and that will give you your little door handle. Easy as that. So um, you can see lots of different ways that you can put together your project. So enjoy um, looking through the um, products that you can purchase through the store. I've placed them out here so that it makes it easier with their code numbers if you were wanting any of the pieces. And um, thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon. And um, with my new video, I will be doing um, Project Life as we go through the next few months, but um, also some other little projects like this. So don't forget to subscribe and, um, and like my channel and come back again soon. It was nice speaking with you today. Bye for now.